all right, you're sitting at home and you're thinking, you know, I'd really like to go out, go see some, you know, classic cars or go, you know, get some memorabilia for some cars, but there's nowhere here on the Gulf Coast that has that. But there is. Down in Gulfport, a man named John Hands actually has a car collection and a museum with a gift shop in front of it. Scott and I went down there to visit John and Scott did an interview with him and the man is really interesting and he has some really cool cars. So check this out. Hey, we're here today with John Hands with the Busted Wrench Garage in downtown Gulfport. John, this is really a neat place and until you met us at the cruise in the coast, had no idea that this was located right here in our local area. Uh, how long have you been here at this location? Been here for two years. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a hidden secret. Most of the motor heads know about it, but uh, a lot of other people don't. Uh, it's kind of that build it and they will come uh, idea. I see. Now, is it? Uh, have you been in this location the whole time? No, I have another warehouse about two blocks from here that I started out uh, about 3,800 square feet and uh, uh, I grew that very quickly and uh, had to come in to move to a bigger one. Yeah. Well, you've created a, a really nice atmosphere here. You've got a uh, actually a museum and uh, a great looking gift shop here with a really lot, a lot of nice, really neat memorabilia, some stuff here. Uh, I noticed that you've got a collection of some die cast garages here in the back and uh, a couple other things in here. What all else is in this place? Well, we had this empty space and didn't really know what to do with it. <clears throat> so. Uh, um, decided that putting in a little automotive gift shop would be a, a nice thing to have since there was nothing else uh, like it. I think there's one up in Tupelo and they have a gift shop. I've been there and I, I didn't think much of it. Uh, they just didn't have much to sell. So uh, had this space, decided to put in a gift shop and started thinking about what people wanted uh, for around their cars, their homes, uh, their garages, and uh, one of the biggest things we do are signs, and uh, everybody loves the, the automotive signs. They put them in their garage, they hang them in their bathrooms, they put them all over the place. And so that's been one of our big things, and then we sell uh, uh, cleaning products, waxes, uh, aluminum polish. We carry uh, puzzles. Uh, we've got about eight or nine different types of puzzles, and all of the puzzles depict cars in one way or another. Uh, we carry T-shirts, hats, uh, keychains, sunglasses, uh, just anything automotive. And Man. we're constantly looking for, for new items all the time. Man, that's just really cool. Even so, you've got a got a jukebox here in the lobby. Uh, I understand this thing still plays. Yeah, that's a 1970s Rockola jukebox, and uh, uh, Dan has has really done a wonderful job on getting it operational. Uh, we don't charge anybody to play it. <laughs> the biggest, the most fun that we have with it is is young kids about 12, 13 years old come in and. We ask them and, uh, if they've ever seen a record, seen a record. And they don't even know what a record is, much less see the inner workings of an old-time jukebox that spins around and lifts the record out and plays it, and they're just amazed with it. And so we try to have the things that people would have back in the 70s. I, say, I guess you say that we are living in the past, but... Uh, I enjoy the past yeah. quite a bit. Speaking of the past, uh, we got some of the past about to pull into the parking lot, if you caught some of that on the audio. We had a, one of the 30s era cars rolling past here a second ago. I'm sure it's going to be pulling in here in just a minute. And uh, that leads us to uh, the next question. Uh, you actually do restoration work in addition to having a museum here. What's some of the things we've got out here in the museum? Well, we'll just have to go through and look because there's a variety of cars. I tend to lend towards the... Uh, European sports cars, I like those a lot, the Porsches, the MGs, the Triumphs, uh, and I like the Corvettes. I've got four Corvettes back there, and uh, uh, we just have a variety of cars. Uh, there's a big old Cadillac in there, and there's uh, uh, 
MGs, and there's a big Imperial, a 63 Lincoln Imperial, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, motorcycles. I've got some antique boats that I have restored years ago, two old Chris Crafts that were sitting in another warehouse, and I had decided that um, uh, I wasn't able to see them, so I decided to bring them over here, and I contacted the builder of the building years ago, and he said that uh, the building would support it, so we hung, the, we hung the boats from the beams. So now every day we get to look at it. Well, John, man, this has just been really great. Uh, I'm glad you uh, you got in touch with us. We were able to come over here and check this out because I had absolutely no idea that you had so much right here in our local area. Gail, you need to come over here and check this out, too. This guy's got more cars than you, so this will be really neat. I appreciate it, John. Thank you so much. Thank you. I pray. All right, go down and visit the Busted Wrench Garage. It's really cool. They got some neat memorabilia there. They got, you know, model cars you can purchase they've got you know t-shirts anything to do with automotive memorabilia there it's a great place to go it's a good just a short drive over to gulfport uh, to check it out and when we come back we're heading into the basement